The latest North Korean ICBM test brings major parts of the U.S. in its range. Hwasong-14 was successfully tested on Friday and may have a range of 10,000 kilometers. Kim Jong-un is quoted as saying, the whole U.S. mainland is now within North Korea's reach. He called Pyongyang's weapons program a precious asset that cannot be reversed nor replaced, according to Korean Central News Agency. The state-controlled media added that Washington should regard the launch as a grave warning. The U.S. will have to accept the fact that now its mainland can be targeted by North Korea, which was never the case till now. As the situation remains tense with no signs of easing, we look at a specific weapon possessed by the U.S. that can play a major part if the U.S. chooses a military option against North Korea. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the capabilities of the B-2 Spirit Bomber and examines why even a single B-2 could be enough to take out North Korean military. Let's get started. Number 5 The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force's vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy their ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 significant advantages over previous bombers. Stealth capability provides greater freedom of action as the bomber can evade enemy air defenses. Currently, only Russia may have the radar technology to detect B-2, though the effectiveness is still not known. North Korea is far off from having this kind of radar technology. Number 4 B-2 Spirit has a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. The U.S. Air Force reports B-2's range as approximately 6,900 miles or 11,000 kilometers. B-2 has an excellent payload which makes even a single one to be extremely destructive. It has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with an official limit of 40,000 pounds and maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds. So it can have different weapons configuration which are noted as follows. 80 500-pound class bombs like MK-82 or GBU-38, 36 750-pound CBU class bombs, 16 2,000-pound class bombs like MK-84 or GBU-31, AGM-154 joint standoff weapon and AGM-158 joint air-to-surface standoff missile, 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs on rotary launcher assembly. Because of its long range and stealth capability, B-2 will be able to strike deep inside North Korea. Its payload enables it to carry not only a huge amount of conventional bombs, but also nukes. Now, let's check how powerful the B-61 and B-83 nukes that can be deployed by the B-2. Number 3 The B-61 nuclear bomb is the primary thermonuclear gravity bomb in the U.S. cache. It has a low to intermediate yield strategy and tactical nuclear weapon featuring a two-stage radiation implosion design. The weapon is 3.56 meters long with a diameter of about 13 inches. Its basic weight is about 320 kilograms, although the weights of individual weapons may vary depending on version and fuse or retardation configuration. The B-61 is a variable yield kiloton range weapon. Tactical versions, mods 3, 4, and 10 can be set to 0.3, 1.5, 5, 10, 45, 60, 80, or 170 kiloton explosive yield. The strategic version, B-61 mod 7, has four yield options with a maximum of 340 kilotons. Number 2 The B-83 thermonuclear weapon is a variable yield gravity bomb developed by the United States in the late 1970s entering service in 1983. The bomb is 3.7 meters long with a diameter of 18 inches. The bomb weighs approximately 1,100 kilograms. With a maximum yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT, it is the most powerful freefall nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal. Number 1 
North Korea has conducted five nuclear tests till now. The most powerful device, which was detonated on September 2016, had a force equivalent of 25 kilotons of TNT, according to most analysis. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945, which ushered in the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's fat man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. So B-61 in its top configuration having 340 kilotons is about 17 times more powerful than the fat man bomb. Likewise, the B-83 in its top configuration of 1.2 megatons is about 50 times more destructive than the fat man bomb. No sanctions or diplomatic pressure has been able to compel North Korea into slowing down its nuclear and missile programs. The frantic pace of missile tests clearly indicates its leadership's resolve to develop and deploy long-range missiles with nuclear warhead. The latest ballistic missile test has severely raised the stakes on the Korean Peninsula, but the U.S. has limited military choices to tackle the threat from Pyongyang without risking retaliation that has the potential to destroy the South Korean capital, Seoul. The day after the missile tests on Saturday, an evidently concerned President Trump slammed China in a series of tweets. Quote, I am very disappointed in China. Our foolish past leaders have allowed them to make hundreds of billions of dollars a year in trade, yet they do nothing for us with North Korea. Just talk. We will no longer allow this to continue. China could easily solve this problem. Unquote. As the Trump administration weighs in the options, including military ones, the B-2 spirit could be the weapon of choice as it has the capability to inflict a lethal precision strike with option of using nukes. A strike like this could be aimed at the North Korean military infrastructure taking out vital assets in one swift go. With possibly millions of lives at stake, it is now to be seen how the Trump administration deals with the situation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.